Hello everyone, we will continue the topic subroutines and in the previous video we took the example in which we are inserting the data to the internal table using append statement and we have so many lines of continuous code. We are using modularization technique subroutine for that particular code. So as a part of that, we created a subroutine with two using parameter and one changing parameter. And yes, the values are changing. Whatever you are using are there, yes, values of those using are changing, yes. One time one C, one time one D. So we simply, simply used those values. Now, after that, whenever we are checking the syntax, we are getting the error. PT underscore data is not an internal table. So how I can make this or how I can treat this as internal table. Now, previous concepts will play a vital role here to understand. Now, what is LT underscore data? It is your actual parameter. Now, LT underscore data is a internal table of two columns. How you are making the internal table? Internal table, type table of structure. And this structure is local structure you created in this program itself and you are using. Now I will come here. Now that was your actual parameter. Now it is which parameter? Formal parameter. Now here, if I want to go for internal table, how you can go for internal table? Internal table, type table of structure. Now, what is your structure? Your structure is LTY underscore data. Now, here, I cannot use local structure. If you remember, in case of function module also, we did same to same thing in import export at that time yes it was not accepting the local structure so you created which type of structure global structure through sc11 transaction code suppose if i will write here type table of anyways type table of is also not accepting if i will write lty underscore data system will never never accept never accept yes now rather than local structure you need to compulsory create a global structure and global structure of how many column two columns what is first one order number and payment mode so whenever you want to go for formal parameters yes see Previously, these were your simple, simple, single, single values. So we pass the data element simply. And for single values, if you are not passing, still, still system will understand. But in case of internal table, yes, internal table, work areas, we should compulsory give the type, yes. Now, how we can make an internal table, internal table, type table of structure. Now, local structure not accepting. So we will compulsory create a global structure through SC11 transaction code. So I will go to SC11 transaction code. Suppose I will choose the third radio button data type. Suppose I will write ZSTR suppose underscore one subs. I'll go for create. Suppose I will write O and O or number. I'll go for create. I will create a structure. 
I will write structure. Now, what is your first column? Order number. Time. I will pass that data element of order number. Now, I will go for payment order. I'll pass the data element of payment mode. I will activate the structure. I'll save it as a local object. So my structure is red. Now, rather than local structure, I created the global structure. Now, here I cannot go for type table of type table of is not accepting at all and you all know if type table of is not accepting you need to compulsory create a table type in the previous videos we studied this concept fully in the function module if local structure is not accepting you are creating global structure if type table of is not accepting, you are creating a table type. So I will simply, simply create a table type. So I will give some name to the table type. I'll go for create table type. I will write table and I will pass the name of the structure. I will activate the table type. Now I will copy this table type and pass. So internal table type table. So this is the way how you can make a internal table in case of formal parameter. Now you can see there is no error everything is accepting everything is accepting so it's a learning i will not say it's a learning it's just a knowledge of the previous concepts which we are using now what i will do now you can see how effective our code is now i will comment this logic because we simply create a subroutine for the same previously you have written the logic for five append statements rather than that we simply simply used the same subroutine five times and in that subroutine we have written the logic i'll check the syntax and i will activate now for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode so that it will 100% clear to you. How pass by value, how pass by reference, they will work. Anyways, we are using pass by reference. I will go for execute. Now, I will show you LT underscore data. Zero records. I am on this particular subroutine. First time we are passing one NC. I am doing F5. I am going inside the subroutine. Now, this is your formal parameter. PV underscore O number. PV underscore PM. What is order number? One. What is payment mode? C. Now, PT underscore data is also formal parameter. How many record? Zero record. Now, you pass the order number and payment mode to the work area. In the work area, we have order number one, payment mode C. Now, we are appending that data to internal table. And this is what it is passed by value or passed by reference. It is passed by reference. So, whenever one record will insert to this internal table, it will automatically reflect into actual internal table. Or I'll say actual parameter. I will do F6. And have you seen? I inserted to PT data, but it automatically inserted to LT data because we passed as a reference. 
So first record that. Now we will go inside the second line. Say I'll say same subroutine, but we called second time. Now you can see. Now we have the value one and D. One and D we are passing to PT underscore data. And once we pass to PT data, it automatically reflected into LT data. I will do F6. Now I will not go inside the subroutine two times we did. I'll just show you now. LT data. Done. Third record. Done. Fourth record. Done. Fifth record. So we have five records in the internal table and we are displaying those five records using loop statement. And just understand how effective this modularization technique is. If you have 50 or 100 times you are going for a different, different append statement, can you go by this process? It will automatically reduce the hidden density of the code. Previously, we have this much redundant code, but we simply, simply use the same subroutine and we have only need to write the logic once. In the future, you have ALD topic. And at that time, we are creating the field catalog by manual method. Whenever we have field catalog, we are at that time going for 15, 20 entries by using append statement. At that time, that is one of the best use of modularization technique subroutine. You have a playlist of project case studies in the future and that is already developed case study at that time also during manual field catalog of ALV I used the subroutine modularization technique so you can use that also and anyways I covered same to same example here because ALV up to this playlist is not available it is in the future playlist so most, most important use whenever you see we have so many append statement, repetitive statements, and yes, you are feeling same internal table, always go for modularization technique subroutine. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we how to make a formal parameter. If your formal parameter is an internal table, how you can make that as an internal table? At that time, your local structures will not work at all. You need to create a global structure. At that time, type table of will not work. You need to compulsory create a table type. So we treated that. So we make this so we created the structure type, we created the table type, we pass the name of the table type and after that I showed you in the debugging mode how pass by reference is working. We appended the data to PT data, it's automatically coming into LT underscore data. Anyways for using you are only using the values yes. Now, in the next video, we will now start with our order header and order item table. I will take the programs and on those programs, we will go for subroutines. So that's it in this video. Thank you.